What up, what up, Wimbush here. And another day, another Transformers project, right? But with this particular project, I ran into this conundrum. So I'm inside of Cinema 4D, and I have this animation that I did with the Transformers logo, just animating out like I typically do. And then I export this out as an Olympic file and brought it into Unreal Engine. So I'm inside of Unreal, and I brought it over successfully. So this is just exported out as an Olympic file. You can see the Transformers logo playing back inside the sequencer, and everything plays back inside the sequencer nicely, right? But let's render this out and I can show you the issue so with my movie render queue right here all set up to go I'm just going to hit render local and then you'll see down here as it's going through the first couple of frames shows the animation then there's a glitch and then the animation plays back again and if we look at the project inside the media player I'm just going to hit play so you can see it played and then it glitched and then it played back again and if I come back into my sequencer, we don't want the animation to start until about frame 49. We don't want it to have it playing at the beginning. And then also we don't want that glitch in there, which is what we're getting. So the thing that I discovered is if I come down here where I have my Olympic file. And before I proceed, if you want to know how to set up an Olympic file inside of Unreal Engine, because I'm not going to cover that here, make sure you go to my YouTube channel. Is this tutorial that you see over on my left hand side. But moving on, so inside of my timeline down here, I have my limbic file all set up. So I'm going to right click down here where I have my geometry cache. I'm just going to right click here and then I'm going to come over to properties. Now you might notice if I come down here to advance, we have a pre-roll frame and we have a post-roll frame. So for pre-roll frame, we're starting about at frame 49. So I like to go a little bit more. So I'm just going to put maybe like 65 frames in here. And you notice that now we have like these white little tick markers down here. That means that it's not going to do the glitch at the beginning. And it's telling it that it wants to pre-roll it all the way up to frame 49. And then that's when the animation is going to start. And then just to be safe, we want to do it on a post side as well, just to make sure that it holds. So I'm going to right click down here again, come over here to properties. And then I'm going to come back down here to where it says advanced. And for post roll, I'm just going to do something like 150. And then one last thing too, when it says finish state, you want to have it on keep state like by default i think it's on project default but you want to make sure it's on keep state that makes sure after your animation plays it's going to stay on that last frame so now whenever we render it out we should get the exact results that we want so i have my render movie queue all set up i'm just going to hit render again and make sure you watch because at frame 49 is when it's supposed to start so i'm going to hit render and we're watching this in real time we don't see anything happening frame 49 now we have our animation starting and then it's going to hold on that very last frame which is exactly what we wanted so hopefully this helps everybody out this gave me a headache for about a day there but i'm glad i figured it out and i can share with everybody else out there so until next time stay fresh keep creating and i catch you in that next video i see you soon take care